your brain is a tremendous learning machine. And your brain is split into two halves. You have your conscious mind. That's everything you're aware of right now. It's very small. Then you have your subconscious or unconscious mind. That's everything that goes on beneath your awareness. I prefer the word unconscious mind. The job of your conscious mind is predominantly to learn. Learn everything that you teach it. Like you learn to drive a car, you learn clutch and mirror and indicator. You learn to swim, you learn to talk, you learn to walk. You learn to do your shoelaces up. Everything you once learned, you learn at a conscious level. And then it goes to your unconscious mind. A vault wraps around it to protect it, to ensure you don't forget how to do it. So that the very thing that you learn to do, you don't forget how to do. It makes sense, right? And that works most effectively for all of the good things, the positive things, the good habits that you learn. But your conscious mind doesn't have a filter mechanism to distinguish between good and bad, positive and negative. It doesn't matter what you teach it. Whether you teach it a good habit, it stores it, it learns it. And whether you teach it a bad habit. So when you start using, you're teaching it. You teach it to use on a Friday, it becomes stored. You teach it to use on a Saturday, it becomes stored. You have a bit of bad news and you think, oh, f it, on a Wednesday, boom, it becomes stored. It happens to be a Thursday and you have some good news, boom, it becomes stored. Now it's running on automation. You have a drink, bang. Every time you have a drink, you have this automation. It's as if driving along the car, the traffic lights suddenly turn from red to amber to green. You don't have to think to yourself, oh, it's turned green, I should drive. You just go. And that's exactly what happens. The light in your brain changes because the triggers have been created and set off. And there you go. Phoning your guy, texting your guy, that's what happens.